Guys, welcome back to the channel. Another impeller. Let me just show you. All right, so this is the the impeller. I've got to balance this thing. It's a cast iron impeller on the shaft. So you got this coating on here. You know, just a protection coating. And uh, I'll have to see how far this impeller is out of balance. Alright, so in this video I'll be doing things slightly different. I won't be showing me capturing any of the data that's required for the machine and for the board and things like that. Um, I've done it in all my other videos, so if you're watching for the first time, can I suggest you go maybe back to my previous videos. You'll see it in my, on my home page or whatever. And um, you can see uh, the methods that I use to capture the data for this impeller. Anyway, let me capture all these things and you'll join me a little bit later. All right, I just thought I will show this. I got the roller running on this diameter here, which I think is 80. I think I measured it. I'm not going to still show again, but I think it was 80. And then I got it running on this one here. This one I think was 65. So they're obviously different diameters. And um, in order to get it horizontal like it is now, so you can see there, um, you just wind the section up or down to to level it out. All right, so she's on the machine now. I'm going to do all the data and stuff like that, and then uh, I'll catch you later on. All right, so she's on the machine. As you can see, I got all the stops on. Got that stop on. I got this stop on. I got this rod here because it's quite deep. So everything is on black, everything. So let's just quickly check how unbalanced it is. I'm going to make a mark here. Calling that top. And let's quickly see. That's a marker in there. Okay, you can see she's actually she's actually rolling back. So she is she got a bit of excess weight down here. Let me quickly see. And that's actually on the mark there. So let's just give it another spin and let's just quickly see where she lands. If it should that land again there, then that's obviously a heavy spot on the Okay, here's that mark. And there she's actually rolling backwards. You see? So yes, she is most definitely heavy down here on that. All right, so now I'm gonna put the, put the machine on and um, input all the data that I captured for this unit. And let's see how unbalanced this thing actually is, knowing that that is heavier there. Let's have a look. All right, so this is all the data that I captured. This is the model of the pump. Got the weight, got the diameter, the radius, the wearing size, the width of the pump. The side I got the shaft, the weight of the shaft, the diameters on the shaft, the length of the shaft. And it's a cast iron unit, so the density is 7.981 grams per centimeter cubed. And the putt is mass 4.75. All right, let's input this data in the machine. All 
All right, I just switched the machine off now. Now that I got everything lubed up and everything, I'm going to start inputting the data and I'm going to do the calibration. And um, then I'm going to see how unbalanced this unit is. All right, that's uh, spinning at 298. I must take up to 500 and um, do the calibration. Right, let's see at 504, I'll just turn it slightly down. Okay, I'm going to do the calibration now. All right, that's it going. She's going up to speed. 299, oh, sorry, 499, 500. And you can see she's 116 at 327. So she's actually quite a lot out of balance. So anyway, let's just print this. All right. As you can see there, that's the speed. That's obviously the model and stuff like that. 116 degrees out at 327. She's actually quite a lot out. Because as you saw on the um, static, you saw her actually rolling back. So she's actually quite a lot out. So anyway, let me get to the spot and start working the Simpala. Alright, so let's turn the cursor to 328. She's there. You can see she's in the center there. So she's heavy here. So I think I'm gonna grind this area here. All right, I made my mark. I'm gonna take it off the machine, grind there, put it on and see what she does over there. Before I, before I take it off, if you can recall, that was my top mark earlier. And if you can recall, twice that mark landed at the bottom. So yes, the weight was definitely over here, in this area here. I actually thought it was there, obviously. But I mean, with the computer being much more accurate, she says it's actually here, which is in the proximity of that mark. So definitely on the right path. Anyway, I'm going to grind that section now. Right, so this is where I grinded. Took, uh, I should hope, quite a bit of, definitely not enough to get the balance right, but I thought I'll work it bit by bit and let's see what that is. Right, let's start and see, see what a little bit of grinding done. Okay, she's almost up to speed. I'll just turn it up a little bit. There we go. Creeping towards 500. And you can see she's now 72 at 344. So it's in the same region. So I'll keep on working that same spot. Anyway, I'm going to turn it now to 344 and see where that, where that is. Let's stop this machine. All right, she's coming to a, to a stop. And that's the cursor there. Let's just get it to 344. Should be around by there. You can see there 344. She's in the center. And if I bring it here, it looks like I must take off now in this region here. Once again, like I said earlier on, remember this mark. So the weight is definitely in this region. I won't be surprised if this weight will actually travel more this way. So now I'm going to grind a little bit over here. About the same amount that I took off there on the grind of here. Okay. All right, she's back on. This was my second grind here. That was my first grind. This is my second grind. It's C. Remember, she was at 72 at 344. Let's see what she is now. 
Okay, away she goes. Crash is going up to speed. 419, 435. 490, 492, almost up to speed. Okay, so she's registering now and she's now at 31. So we're definitely coming and it's now at 38. So the weight is distributed in a different spot now. So I'll get you, I'll turn it to 38. And I think we should be good after that. At least I think so. Well, then we'll just have to most now fine tune it. Anyway, let me just stop this and get to my 38 degrees. All right, so I'm turning her. Slightly back. Here we go. So that's 38. In the center, 38. And 31 grams must come over 38. So 38 is somewhere about a year now so as I said earlier on there's my mark so the weight is in this region you know when can, if you can recall I said the weight is here and it's in this region which just happens to have been that there was quite a bit of weight there so now the machine is saying hang on we got some that must come off this side too so I must take off 38 grams 30 sorry 31 grams on this side and um, then we'll see what she does all right, so that was my grind now, my third one. That was my second, that was my first. 31 grams had to come off. I doubt if I took off 31 grams here, but like I always, like I always say and when I do, small bits at a time. Okay, let's see what the result is. Okay, away she goes. All right, she's getting up to speed. And we're going to really see eight. We're down to eight grams at 60, 69. Okay, I'm going to work that away now. I'm not going to show you, just stop this. I'm not going to show you now the curse and all that stuff because you now got the idea of what I'm doing. So um, let's take that eight grams off. All right, so this time around, that was the mark that I made there. But what I decided is I decided to take some more off there to minimize the amount to take off. So I'll just see what effect this had by me taking off some more there. And if it is bringing it down, then I think I'll work on this spot again instead of having a lot of different spots all over the show. Okay, so let's start up again and see what happens. Okay. All right, she's going again, guys. She's down to four, three, three or four grams, you see? Two or five, so I must work a, another spot. Okay, let's do that quickly. All right, she's back on. She was four, four grams early on. Let's see. Let's see what it is now. Okay, she's still four, so didn't take much because I didn't grind much. But she says she's all good. All right, she's back on again. You just see, you just see, um, what the result is okay so we're almost on 500 let's see we're down to two the machine says, says she's good we're in the circle what i'm going to do i'm going to take a small grinder and just touch here touch there and get this in closer and i'll show you and i'll show you when i get to my desired amount which is less than half a gram all right she's going again guys Let's see what the result is. 0 0.14, almost spot center. This is good to go. Let's print this. All 
All right. Make a quick comparison here. Same unit, same unit, same unit. You know the story, guys. You've seen it before. 116 here. Was out at 327 degrees. And I brought it down to 0 0.14 at 310. That's nearly a bullseye, guys. She's good to go. All right, so these are all the places that I had to grind. She was quite bad. So if you can recall, I made the mark, which was that. And if you can recall, she she added tens to one to go to the bottom because she was heavier. So let's give it one spin and see how she stops. All right, so that's another one done, guys. I will leave you with uh, a static just to make a comparison. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers for now. So she basically she should just stop. She shouldn't want to roll anyway. And let's see. And stop. She will probably stop somewhere around, but yeah. There we go. Cheers for now.